Good morning. My name is Miss Donaldson, and this is Miss Shine, my assistant. And we are at Johnson Elementary School, and these are my second grade students. Today, we are going to do a lesson about two digit subtraction. All right, boys and girls, so in order to get started, let's look at our learning target together so we can look at exactly what we will be doing. All right? Mirror with words. I can find, I can find the, difference the difference of two numbers, of two numbers using, various strategies. using various strategies. Okay, very good. Remember the difference means what we end up with, our answer in a subtraction problem. So in order to get started, I would like to ask a friend to come up and show us the first step that we do in an addition or subtraction problem. What is our first step? Mariana. And I think you might have to switch it to pen. Very good. Can you explain what you just did? T.O. chart. What does that mean? Um, it, you put it there so um, we know what, where the tens and um, ones are. Very good. We know where our tens and ones are. All right, my friends. Everyone, can you tell me where do we start first? We always start in the ones. ones. Very good. I need a friend to come up and see if we can solve the ones place. Let's see if we can solve that. Go ahead and pick a friend. Okay, so explain where you got that 10, Hannah. I borrowed one of them from the 10th place. Okay, so how would you show borrowing a 10? Very good, because if we borrow one, we're taking one away. She added it over, but don't forget, you're taking it away, so you need to take it away from the 10th place. Excellent job. All right, I need someone to please solve the ones place. Now that we know we have 12, we can do 12 minus 8. Who can solve that for me? <coughs> you can make your dots. That's a strategy. So how many dots are you drawing? Uh, 12. 12? Okay, now how many do you need to take away? Um, eight. Eight, very good. So this is a strategy you can use. If you feel like you need to see your subtraction problem, you can draw your dots out and she's taking away the eight that she needs to. So you took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many do, would you have left over? Four. Four. Very good. And where is that going to go? Here. Where? In the one place. Very nice. Show me me too if you got four. Excellent. Raise your hand if you can tell me what six minus one is. Quiet hand. Excellent, Tree, and I saw that you did that in your head. So you knew you had six, and if you take one away? It's equal five. 
Very nice. Show me me too if you knew that as well. Excellent. Boys and girls, you did an awesome job walking through that problem. Now it's your turn to either work with someone or work with me in order to solve some more two-digit subtraction problems. So let's look at our rotations. With me, we have Andre, Josue, Ian, Marquise, at Math with Someone. You guys are going to solve problems at the Promethean Board. You all have been practicing that. And you get to act as the teacher and explain to your friends what you are doing while you are working. And lastly, you are going to have roll a problem at the back word work table. And remember, who can tell me when we roll our numbers, when we roll our two numbers to subtract, which number has to go on top? Who's not? The bigger number in order for our subtraction problem to work. Excellent. So, Vincenzo, you will be with Hannah. Husna, you will be with Aiden. And Cleopatra, you will be with Mariana. So if you could quietly walk to your station. Miss Shine. All right, my friends. So we are going to practice our two-digit subtraction problems. We're going to roll dice just like we've been doing. You have your marker? Excellent. Okay, so let me see. I have my place value block so we can actually see when we're taking away. Does everyone have their marker ready? That's fine. All right, so our first number is going to be 11. Remember we write it small on the side before we do our problem, right? 11 in order to see which one is going to be bigger. Okay. Our second number is 64. So raise your hand. Who can tell me which is larger, 11 or 64? Andre? Good, Jocelyn. 64. So we know 64 is bigger, so we need to put it on the top. And I see Ian is already getting started, and Marquise, with the T.O. chart. Can I just use your voice when you put it on? Yeah, that's fine. Very good. OK, so Josue, where do we start? We always start in the ones place. Excellent. So if we start in the ones place, look at the ones place. We have 64. Put a 4 here. 4 minus 1. Can we do 4 minus 1? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we can do that. So do we need to borrow? No, we do not. So what is, who can tell me, what is 4 minus 1? 3. Excellent. If you have the answer, keep it down and hidden because we don't want to spoil it for other people. Excellent. Okay, my keys. I need you to sit up. Four, sixty-four should go on top, buddy. Sixty-four should go on top. And then we'll have four minus one equals three. Okay, you can tell me what is six minus one. And what's five minus three? Five minus three. You get it right. You need to do your strategies. You can do that too. Eight. Five minus three. So if I have five and I take away three, one, two, three. Oh, it's two. Two. So it's twenty. So our answer is twenty. Very good. Your turn, Aiden. 
You want to share with her? You want to get your marker? So what do we have? Mariana. Okay. So what's in our ones place? Can we subtract two from one? No. So what do we have to do? Very good. We can cross it out. And we can make that. And what would that make our one? It would make it. No, I want. So if we have one and we add a ten, we don't it, have to add it out because because these two are the same. Very good. Because you can't um have seven. Wait, actually, you can. We think about it. Can we do seven minus nine? Could we do that? No. no, why couldn't we do that? Because the, the nine is too big. Right, the nine is bigger, it's at the bottom. The seven is smaller. So if we cannot subtract, raise your hand and tell me. Explain what we need to do. So we need to take this away. Right? Wait, let's think about it. Seven minus nine, we can't do that. So we need to go next door, Jocelyn. We need to go next door to our tens place and do what, Josue? Borrow a ten. Excellent. So we're going to go next door, Marquise, and we're going to borrow that ten. So if we have six and we take one away, what are we left with? Five. Excellent. If we have six, Jocelyn, and we take one away, then we have five. Okay? Excellent. Okay, so we borrowed a ten. What are we going to do with that ten? No. What do we do with that ten? We need to. So it's seven. There's seven here. Yeah, right? Add the 10 to the ones place. Seven plus 10. All right, boys and girls, I want to check in with you about how you're feeling with two digit subtraction. So if you're feeling really good, if you feel like you've got it, you're comfortable with it, you could do it independently. Want a thumb, but this is private. Want a thumbs up. If you're feeling like you still need some work in the middle, Marquise, I need you to think in the middle. If you feel like you still need lots of work, I love how you're being honest. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for visiting our classroom today. Go Jaguars!